From civilization, no cars, no phones, it's just us and Mother Nature. Mother Nature has a cruel sense of humor. I'm cold, I'm tired, I'm starving, I haven't eaten for, well, it seems like more than 10 minutes. Only seven more miles to go, and we'll be at my cousin Bill's cabin. He'll be fine. I'll be extinct. <laughs> Thanks for the pep talk, Odie, but I'm just an ordinary cat whose big exercise is working the remote control on the DVD player. We're almost there, Odie. Bill's cabin is only three miles away, right at the bottom of this slope. Three miles? Oh. 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 Can't we get there any faster? I want to go home. This never happened to Santa Claus, and he's fatter than I am. Fantastic. Just like the old days. No electricity, no appliances, nothing. We'll have to have it. What? You mean no fridge, no microwave, no TV? We're gonna have to live like animals. Okay, guys, let's go outdoors and have fun. Hey, I'm not going anywhere. And close the door for crying out loud. Crazy. I guess Garfield isn't coming with us. Hmm, nice. Time for a well-deserved nap. And so it was that while John and Odie were outdoors having a jolly good time, Garfield remained in the cabin to rest his weary bones. Who said that? I said that. What? I'm your narrator. I've just been included in the story. Why? Don't ask me. Ask the writers. You can go back to sleep. Okay, but keep your voice down. Good night. My deep apologies. Where was I? Oh, yes. While Garfield was resting his weary bones, John and Odie had a jolly good time. You only have to move around. Jump and dance if you're feeling down. Feeling grumpy. Feeling so if you feel bad. Stand up and sing along. Grumpy song, shake your belly, bust a move, get your body into the groove. One, two, three, four, go on, hit the dance floor. Step up and sing along to the anti grumpy song. Why is it so cold in here? Because huh? you didn't keep the fire going, numbskull. Hey, I don't have to take this abuse from a second-rate narrator. Don't blame me. I didn't write this dialogue. Anyway, this story is about to have its first twist. So brace yourself. Au revoir. A twist? Au revoir? Ah. Oh, no. Patty. Patty the Leprechaun. Oh, that's a nice twist. I didn't see it coming. Hi, Garfield. Sorry to be barging in on you. I was on my way to Hawaii, but I guess I took one of those wrong turns in Albuquerque. Hawaii? Oh, man, I wish I was in Hawaii. <laughs> yeah, I see what you mean. <laughs> you want to come to Hawaii with me, laddie? You betcha. Uh, thanks, but no thanks, Patty. If I go, John is going to be worried sick and it'll completely ruin his holiday. I can't do that to him. Okay, as you wish. Bye-bye, laddie. If you change your mind, open this door and call me name three times. Hey, Garfield, how do you like our snowman? I named him Boris. I'm hungry. Oh, don't worry. Odie and I went ice fishing and we won't starve. We actually caught something. You caught canned spinach. <laughs> ah, bon appetit. Hey. <laughs> 
Do you have any real food? Let's see if we can get the local weather report. Hi. This is your narrator again. Tonight, Mars, Jupiter, and Venus will align with Earth. This will have a direct effect on this story and make for another quirky plot twist. Another twist? Gee, I hope it's a good one. Look, Mars, Venus, and Jupiter. Perfectly aligned. What a glorious sight! I'm still waiting for that plot twist. I hope it involves dinner. No, no, go away, Odie. Bad dog. Bad, bad, badder than bad dog. That's where most of the cold is. Yeah. What is it? Huh? Ah. Boris the snowman is gone? Wow, this must be the second plot twist the narrator was talking about. That's exactly huh? right. Quite unexpected, huh? The writers oh. have really outdone themselves. You're only saying that so they give you more lines. Now leave this story, we'll take it from there. You're quite the diva, aren't you? Fine. Narrator out. Ooh, touchy. <laughs> okay, Odie. Let's follow that trail. Huh? I don't know, Chris. Uh, how? When you see him, cry ice cubes. <laughs> <laughs> Am I seeing things, or was that Boris the snowman telling a joke to another snowman named Olaf? <laughs> Are you guys for real? Sure, we're for real. Last night, there was an alignment of three planets, and... Let me guess. And then you were hit by a ray of light, and bingo, you were alive. Precisely. How did you know? Oh, it's the laziest screenwriting trick in the book. A pumpkin or a toaster gets hit by an energy beam and poof, lo and behold, it's alive. It's pathetic. Well, like it or not, I'm thrilled to be alive. And so am I. There is nothing more boring than being an ordinary snowman. You just stand there all day doing nothing with no one to talk to, slowly melting away. Yes, Olaf. Oh. The life of an ordinary snowman is no picnic. And that's why we're telling jokes. Hey, I got one for you. What do snowmen call snowballs? Children. <laughs> 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 hey, speaking of snowballs, here's one. Huh? I hope a rabbit eats your nose. <laughs> 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 this has been fun. Yeah, but I'm starved. I could use an ice burger. <laughs> <laughs> hey, see you guys tomorrow. Good night. Sleep warm. Good night. Sleep cold. <laughs> <laughs> well, winter is over, folks, and huh? temperatures are rising quickly. Mm. Time to pack your skis and go home. And that's exactly what we're going to do. Garfield, Odie, we're leaving. Okay. But first we need to say goodbye to Boris and Olaf. <laughs> Guys, we're leaving. It's been a pleasure knowing you. You're both so cool. Not anymore. We're melting. By the end of the day, we'll just be two puddles of water. Boy, this is so sad. We can't have a sad ending to this story. Now can we? Okay, chill, guys. I'll be right back. Odie, Garfield, let's go! Oh, wait for me, I'll catch up. Patty, Patty, 
Patty. Oh, hello, laddie. Change your mind, eh? Who would be to take you to Hawaii? Not exactly. Say, your underground tunnels out of Ireland, they cover the entire planet, right? Oh, of course they do. Through them, we leprechauns can go anywhere in the world. See, if you could pass up a bed with you, remember, you something, Oh, laddie, you're asking a lot. But, okay, I'll do it. For old time's sake. Hop in! This old engine runs on leprechaun magic. I'll have you at your destination in a wee instant. Thanks for everything, Garfield. Bye bye now. <laughs> bye bye. Hey, don't forget to ride. <laughs> hey, Odie, it's a postcard from Boris and Ola. It says, Dear Odie and Garfield, it's freezing here at the North Pole. We love it. Come up and see us sometime, <laughs> and we'll give you a chilly reception. <laughs> Yours coolly, Boris and Olaf. Oh, don't you love stories that end well? I feel so happy, I may even forgive that narrator. Oh, thank you so very much. Well, I, I did say may. I just love it when we come up here to the farm and stay with my brother. I want to go home. There's the sun, the air, the great outdoors. I want to go home. What more could anyone want? TV, pizza delivery, air conditioning, an internet connection, my own bed, and not being woken up at 5 a.m. by a stupid rooster. I want to go home. <laughs> I just wish Doc Boy didn't work so hard. Don't call me Doc Boy. You know what he needs? A companion. You know what I need? To go home. But I think you're working too hard. You're low too much. Doc Boy always works like that. Have I mentioned that I want to go home? Look, Garfield, I know you're bored. Here, take my cell phone. There are plenty of games on there and you can access the internet. Maybe it'll keep you busy. I want to go home. Don't you ever do anything but chores? Not now, John. Can't you see I'm busy? I was trying to say that maybe you need a woman uh, in your life. I don't have time for a woman in my life. I have a farm to run. Care for an omelet? <laughs> you should have someone at your side. Someone to share the pleasures and trials of life. <laughs> Where will I find someone? I work from dawn till dusk, and I live in the middle of nowhere. <gasps> oh. Pizza? Gloria, you usually deliver packages. And I didn't order any pizzas. No, but I have a strange hunch who did. Garfield, did you use my cell phone to order those from Vito's? Yes, and I still want to go home. So, how are you, Mr. Arbuckle? Busy. I have to slop hogs. Say, have you seen that new monster movie at the drive-in? It's still playing if you have it. Oh. Watch this. He'll blow it. I don't have time for monster movies. I have corn to pick. I told you. Bye. Oh. You want the crap?
crust? <laughs> mm. Too bad there aren't gonna be any. <laughs> Here, I was kidding. By the way, I still wanna go home. I'm telling you, she's interested in you. Oh. She's the Rush Around Express driver. She's interested in picking up packages and delivering packages. It's not natural to live your life alone. Life is meant to be shared. You know what the three most wonderful words are in the entire world? Let's go home. John, could we discuss this after I plow the North 40? <gasps> We need to pack. Oh, we're packed. <laughs> I don't want to stay here and watch my brother spend his life picking apples alone. <laughs> Hello? John, it's your brother. Sorry to wake you up at this hour. When you were here, you said something about the three most wonderful words in the world, but you didn't say what the words were. <laughs> I love you. Well, I love you too, John. But what are the three words? Ah, I get it. Talk to you in the morning. <sighs> I love you. Yeah, that might be nice to hear once in a while. I'll get it. Of course you will. Oh, dog boy. I thought about what you said. You're right. I need a woman in my life. <laughs> Excellent. And the best place to find one is in the city. I had my friend Elmer drop me off, and he's going to be watching my farm for me. I'm going to stay with you until I find the love of my life. Yo, and, and don't, don't call, call you Doc, Doc Boy. Boy. Right. He said that as long as he's staying with us, he insists on cooking. Here you go, a nice, healthy farm dish. Dandelion and wheatgrass soup. <laughs> oh. To grow proper rutabagas, you need well-prepared soil in a sheltered area with full sun. That's good to know. You don't mind me watching my farm programs, do you? Yeah. No. Good, because there's a five-hour special on later about different kinds of shop. <laughs> we have to help that man meet someone so we can get Doc Boy out of here. <sighs> See you later, John. I'm going to town. Hi there. Gee, I seem to have lost my Nobel Peace Prize somewhere around here. Oh, no. He's just gonna walk up to strangers and try to strike up a conversation? Huh? You're asking what could happen? Oh, well, I have several more at home. Say, I was wondering if... <laughs> that. You can't just approach strangers like that, it's rude. Oh, wait. <laughs> this is promising. He's figuring out that there may be something wrong with that just fell off the tractor look. <laughs> He's going in to buy himself a new outfit. Odie, this is great. It's not a bad outfit if you want to look like Binky the Clown. Anyone out there remember Binky? Yeah, I didn't think so. Seven foot tall lady wrestler, age 70, who plays the bagpipes, seeking male any age who enjoys watching Bread Ghost Tale. Hmm, not for me. Excuse me, miss. May I hold your fine dog for you while you tie your shoelace? Why, that would be very nice of you. Here. Keep a good grip on him. He gets very upset if he sees a cat. Hey, she's actually talking to him. Oh, that's a good sign. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. 
magic potion that will make them like me. Hmm. Huh? Ay, ay, ay. This guy doesn't get it. There are no magic potions. Uh -uh. It's just a matter of people liking each other. Hey. <laughs> Try Philippe's cologne. Makes men irresistible to women. Sounds like just what I need. <laughs> that kind of thing never... One whiff of this, and the ladies will love me. What is that wonderful smell? Is it you? It's it's you. What is that fragrance? Oh, you smell so divine. Ladies, please, I'm from the farm. Don't get too excited. Huh? Please, ladies, I'm outnumbered. What's your idea? There you are, you wonderful smelling creature. You're mine, all mine. Yes, I'm yours, all yours. Let's go out to dinner some night. Where would you like to go? Anywhere that I can smell you. Oh, Henry. What are you doing with my girlfriend? I'm really sorry you couldn't find your soulmate, Doc Boy. Maybe you need to give it more than one day. Huh. Or maybe I'm just meant to be alone. And don't call me, you know. Gloria, what brings you here? I didn't call for a pickup. We have a date, remember? A date? Yes, you send me these gorgeous flowers with the nurse's card. Dear Gloria, please accept these modest flowers. Would you go out with me tonight to see that monster movie at the drive-in? Oh, I thought you'd never ask me. But, but I, I, well, I... my cell phone to order flowers for Gloria and compose that cheesy invite? <laughs> nice work. You see, Odie? You don't have to go out and find happiness. You just have to be willing to let it find you. Whoa, that was deep, wasn't it? Oh, oh doll failed? Almost uh, forgot. Here's your delivery. <laughs> And of course, there are other ways of finding happiness. bought the Showstack house. We have new neighbors, Garfield. <sighs> I don't care, just so long as they barbecue. <sighs> Nothing. <sighs> it's gonna interrupt my uh, 2.17 in the afternoon nap. <sighs> <sighs> The pest alarm! He 
here. Oh no, Drusilla and Minerva. Do not open until Christmas or when twins leave. They'll never find me in here. I hope, I hope, I hope. Kayapata! Oh. Drusilla! Minerva! No, I'm Minerva. She's Drusilla. We've come to play with the kitty cat. to find Garfield and play dress-up. Garfield? No, he doesn't mind. Let them dress you up in the new fall fashions and see how you like it. Kitty Pirate? I don't think uh, I want to do that, no. Hey, Cat! You want to play pirate? Hey, how'd he get here so fast? No, I don't think I want to play pirate. I said, don't you want to play pirate? <laughs> Over there, he was, but now he's. Uh, you want to play pirate? Just what I don't need. More twins. I'm Lester. He's Chester. I'm Chester. He's Lester. We're Chester and Lester. I'm Garfield and leaving. Whoa. Come on, let's play pirate. No, no. But don't just sit there with the remote control in your hand. Help the poor kitty cat. Oh, he thinks he went this way, Drusilla. You're Drusilla. I'm Minerva. All oh, right. Girls get us confused. Huh? I don't think I'm gonna like playing pirate. Arr! What shall we do with this scurvy knave, matey? Make the scurvy knave walk the plank, Captain. <laughs> aye, aye, matey! That was right. I don't like playing pirate. <laughs> <laughs> Poor kitty! We have to rescue him! Don't worry, Garfield. We'll clean you up. Let's give him a bath. Help! Someone rescue me from the rescue! Hey, come back here with our scurvy name! Yeah! We were playing pirate with them! Cowboy. On the other hand, at least I won't wind up in the mud again and have to get another bath. Oh, wow. well, what should we do with this lily-livered sidewinder, <laughs> Sheriff? Make the lily-livered sidewinder walk the plank, Deputy. Sure enough, <laughs> Sheriff. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> 
I would have done the exact same thing. What shall we do with this scurvy knave, matey? Make the scurvy knave walk the plank, Captain. The scurvy knave will save you the trouble. Pizza parlor. Buongiorno, my friend Garfield. A lovely hot pizza just for you. Buongiorno, my friend Garfield. A lovely hot pizza just for you. Well, there can be some advantages to this twin business. Oh, Sean! A delicious pizza just for me. Oh, 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 oh heavenly! A lovely pizza just for me. I could eat my napkin too. Hey, you two. One of those, preferably both of those, are mine. <laughs> this isn't the kind of pizza I want. I want pepperoni, mushrooms, and onions. I want I can't take any more of this. I gotta get out of here. I want meatballs, veggies, and extra cheese. I want peppers, broccoli, and anchovies. I want Canadian bacon walnuts and more Canadian bacon. This couldn't get any worse. Hi, Garfield. Okay, Drusilla. Oh, I think he is too. And you're Drusilla. I'm Minerva. Is the cat okay? Yes. No thanks to you. We were just having fun. Yeah, all our video games are busted. There are ways to have fun without video games. There are? Yeah. Why don't you play checkers? Or a game with cards? We don't know how to. Come on. We'll show you. Yay! <laughs> <sighs> well, maybe that'll keep him busy for a while. After all those twins, I need two naps, two lunches, two dinners, and no more duplicates for a while. Is that you, Garfield? <laughs> Take a look at 
what I have here. More twins. I just wanted to show him my new full-length mirror. I don't understand that cat. Me neither. House, Audrey, get out of the house while you still can. She's on TV, she can't hear you. And by the way, I'm on TV and I can't hear you either. I heard that. But I saw a ghost, Greg. <laughs> you couldn't possibly have seen a ghost. I know how horror movies work. She'll be safe until she asks, how can you be sure? I trust you, Greg, but how can you be sure? Here it comes. Because I'm the only ghost here. <laughs> I love to watch horror movies with John and Odie. They never touch their popcorn. I can't watch another second of this. I hate ghost stories. They terrify me. Nothing scares me. Except maybe anchovies on pizza. <laughs> <laughs> oh, something will scare you, cat. Something's gonna scare you real good. <laughs> <laughs> now, Pookie, while John's away, I'm gonna teach you how to make the perfect sandwich. The secret lies in two essential points. Quantity, and more importantly, quantity. A true work of art, wouldn't you agree, Pookie? Oh, Pookie? Odd. I would have sworn Pookie was sitting next to me. <laughs> How'd you get over here? <laughs> Sandwich. Oh, bad dog. You ate my sandwich. <gasps> Come on. You're here and the sandwich isn't. Therefore, you ate it and I'll prove it. There will be crumbs and residues of ham, cheese, tomato, pastrami. Hey, that's weird. Not a single trace of food. Whew. But you could use a mint. So, if you didn't eat the sandwich, who did? A ghost? You think we're being haunted by a ghost? As usual, empty. Listen, Pop, ghosts only exist in movies and TV shows. They don't exist in the real world. <laughs> Buddy, remember a moment ago I said, this is no time to panic? <laughs> that wasn't. This is... <laughs> I never cared much for that chair. And we can do without that table. And we don't need... No! Not the TV! What would I ever do without 
aren't you? You think I know how to make a mess? This guy knows how to make a mess. Oh. Hey, ghost, I know you're here, you mean home-wrecking spineless spook. You don't scare me. Okay, ghost, no need to get angry. I get the picture. <laughs> I know that laugh. Where did I hear that laugh before? Garfield, Odie, I'm home. I'm going to fix myself a snack and go right to my office and go to work. He didn't notice. <laughs> he noticed. What did you do? I mean, I, I, how, I, 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 how could you? Hey, we didn't do this. I've been framed. <laughs> What? Are you trying to tell me a ghost did this? Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. That's the lamest excuse I ever heard. And I have no choice but to punish you. Punish us? <laughs> okay, guys, it's time for dinner. I'll have the Caesar salad to start, dressing on the side, then the shrimp cocktail followed by French onion soup with extra cheese, corn on the cob with extra butter and a side of lasagna. For dessert, apple pie with mint chip ice cream and a couple of seven layers. Here you go. <laughs> Kitty witty dry cat food made from all artificial ingredients. This is not what I ordered. That's all huh? you're getting for the next year. Bon appetit. A year? I can't take a year of this. I can't take a mouthful. Who could be stupid enough to eat this? <laughs> He's not getting away with this. I demand food. <laughs> okay, John, you want to play? I'm game. Garfield. This kitchen is burglar-proof and Garfield-proof. <laughs> oh well, at least the food is better here. Oh, that laugh again. I know I've heard it before. It's like it came from one of the houses across the street. Nathan? <gasps> Lunch is ready. Coming, Mother. I know who the ghost is. It's it's Nathan, that bratty science geeky kid across the street. The kid who struck me to the size of a mouse. The kid who cloned Odie into 12 dogs with the collective brains of a hockey puck. The kid who turned Nermal into a cockroach. Can you believe that? Someone actually found a way to make Nermal more annoying? <laughs> Told ya. Journal, my invisibility machine is working to perfection. Phase one, getting back at that stupid orange cat and that dumb puppy was a total success. And now, phase two, to terrorize the entire neighborhood, and then the city, and finally, the whole wide world. <laughs> Let's see how this thing works. <laughs> okay, the green button makes you invisible. Let's see what happens when I push the white button. Okay, got it. White button reverses it. Thanks for lunch, Mo. I'm gonna eat in my lap or a broom. Uh-oh, green button time. I'll eat as soon as I finish rearranging the world's time zone. Mm, boy, Nathan's mother raised a rotten kid, but she sure makes a mean marinara. Done. Now for my lunch. Oh, well, I don't have time for lunch now. And now let's go out and create havoc in the neighborhood. <laughs> Over my invisible body. Ouch! What was that? That was for the stupid orange cat, and this is for the dumb puppy. Hey! Whoever you are, you're going to be sorry you did that. Ouch! Time out. I need to 
catch my breath. I'm a geek, not an athlete. Well, if you're feeling tired, why don't you grab a chair? You missed. I'm gone. <laughs> 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 Nathan? What's going on here? Nathan! <gasps> what happened? Nathan, where are you? He's right here. <sighs> Nathan, what on earth have you been up to again? I built an invisibility machine. That's what geniuses like me do, Mom. We build cool stuff. Oh, yeah? And how does your genius account for your destroyed room? <laughs> See you, Nathan. There! It was that stupid orange cat who wrecked my room. I don't see any cat. It was Garfield Honest. He used my machine to make himself Enough. invisible. And I'm sick and tired of your invention. Ah! So much for your silly oh, no! machine. Yeah, no buts. Now, well, I guess that takes care of the boy genius. Now let's look into the dining situation at home. Oh, I'm sorry, Odie, but you don't get any pizza. You and Garfield are only getting dry food for a year. That'll teach you to try and convince me that our house was wrecked by ghosts. <laughs> what a silly fib. <laughs> now, if you could convince me that there were ghosts, I'd believe you. But we all know there are no such thing as... Ghosts! Help! Ghosts! My house is haunted! Help! Pizza eating ghosts! Hi, Odie. It's me. Oh, wait. I'll explain it to you after I finish my pizza. Boy, this was a great episode. The animators must have especially loved it. They probably took the week off. Hmm.